Sitiza Hatun, c. 1435, April 1467, was the third wife of Ottoman Sultan Memtu and the real biological mother of Ottoman Sultan Bayezid II. She was one of the daughters of Zulkadaroglu Suleiman Bey, the sixth ruler of Delkadir state. She was married to Memtu on December 15, 1449 in Edirne. Her marriage served as an alliance between the Ottomans and this buffer state. Sitiza Hatun was born in 1435 in Elbistan, Karamanmaras province. Delkadir state. Born as Mukrim, she was the daughter of Suleiman Bey, the sixth ruler of Delkadir state. Her aunt Amin Hatun, daughter of Nasreddin Muhammad Bey, the fifth ruler of Delkadirids was married to Sultan Morads further Memdi while her other aunt was married to the aged Mamluk Sultan at Cairo. Later Askal Bahar Hatun, Suleiman Bey's granddaughter, was married to the future Sultan Bayezid II and became the mother of Selimai known as the Grim. Suleiman Bey, who is described as a man of unshapely corpulence and pathological sensuality but also as a skillful horseman and the owner of magnificent stables, possessed a considerable army of brave, devoted Turk men and was fabulously wealthy. Two circumstances which in themselves sufficed to incline Morad toward the union of his son and heir with this respected noble families which centuries later, though dispossessed of its lands, was still revered as a family of royal blood. The Byzantine chronicler Ducas was convinced, not without reason, that one of the Sultan's chief motives in seeking this marriage was to obtain an ally against the arrogant Karamanids and Juhan Shah, the chief of the Turkmen black sheep tribe, Kara Koyunlu. Marriage When Mem turned seventeen, his father decided that he should to married to a woman of inferior station for political purposes. The Sultan's choice fell on the wealthy and beautiful daughters of Suleiman Bey, the sixth ruler of Delkadir state. It must have been in the winter of 1448 to 1449 that Morad summoned Sandal Halil Pasha, his trusted Grand Vizier, and informed him of the marriage plans. The Sultan declared that he wished the prince to marry and this time as he, Morad saw fit. Halil Pasha approved wholeheartedly of his master's plan, whereupon they decided to choose one of Suleiman's daughters. The wife if his Pasha, governor of Amazur, was sent to Elbistan to select the bride in accordance with ancient custom. Her choice fell on Sitiza Hatun, the most beautiful of the daughters. The intermediary kissed her eyes and put the engagement ring on the finger. Later the same matron, this time accompanied by Saruka Pasha. The Sultan's favoured advisor in family matters, returned to the court of Elbistan to bring the chosen bride home to Amelia. The most distinguished nobles of the land escorted the young girl across the mountains to the former Ottoman capital of Bursa, where the judges, the ulama and the sheikhs of the religious orders came to meet her in solemn procession and then onward across the Dardanelles. At the news the cortege was approaching. Morad sent out the grandees of the realm from Medern to meet his future daughter-in-law, who continued on the Sultan's residence with her imposing retinue. The wedding took place on 15 December 1449 at Edern and was celebrated with a great pomp for three months. Popular festivities of all sorts and poetry contests contributed to the rejoicings. The bridegroom, who had not been consulted on the choice of his bride, returned with her to Manizu immediately after the celebration. The marriage is seen to have childless and not very happy. Apparently, the whole arrangement was not to Mem's liking. Death Long after Memt had removed his court to Istanbul, Sitiza Hatun remained behind e. Dern, where she lived, lonely and forsaken, until the end of April 1647. She founded Waqf in Edirne and its region. Her Waqf in the old Ottoman capital constructed a mosque finished in 1485. Two years after the conclusion of the building works Sitiza Hatun died. It is seemed likely that her niece Saskal Bihar, in devotion to her memory, completed the mosque which bears her name and beside which she rests under the open sky in a grave now completely uncared for her. The two cracked tombstones have been removed from the shrubbery and taken to the city museum. The mosque is today used by a Heyban.